Today's Torah portion is Re'eh. And Re'eh means sea. And so we're talking about the blessings and the curses. I mean, curse! <laughs> okay, okay, so, so. what are we reading today? So, I'm reading gonna, Deuteronomy. I'm, I'm going to read you Deuteronomy. Or Deuteronomy. Uh -huh. So, I'm going to read you the Bible. Right if, uh -huh. it, it says... Chapter 13. Chapter 13. One. It says, The entire wood that I command you, it, that it shall prosper to you. That you shall observe. That you shall observe to you. Mm -hmm. That you shall not add to it. To end. To it. To it. Mm -hmm. To add to it. Mm -hmm. And you shall not subtract from mm -hmm. it. Two. If there is should stand up in your midst of the of a prophet or a dreamer of a dream, that he, and he will prove you. Uh huh. Produced. Produce the sign to you. The, to you. Or a wonder. A sign or a sign wonder. Or a wonder. Mm -hmm. Comes about. Shalosh. Three. From which he spoke to you, saying, "Let us follow the gods of others, that he that 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 you did did not know, mm -hmm. and he will not worship." Them. You have an exclamation. Them. Uh huh. <laughs> Do not hearken to the words of the prophet, the dreamer of a dream that a dreamer of a dream is for. Hashem Yoga testing. Do you know the the wet the wet weather weather? You you love Hashem Yoga with all your heart, with all your soul. Hashem, your God, will follow him to fear his commandments. Mm -hmm. Will observe his voice and hearken to him to serve and to to him. He shall cleave. Uh -huh. shall, shall you cleave? Mm -hmm. Six. And Shesh. the prophet of a dreamer of a dream put on to death. Uh huh. For for he had spoken to the perversion per against Hashem, your God, mm -hmm. who takes you out of the land of Egypt, who, who redeems you of the house of slavery, who makes you stray from the path on which Hashem, your God, has commanded you to go and destroy the evil from your midst. Baru Hashem, Kavod. Wait, 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 wait. Get to have a talk. Ah, wait. Um, so explain to me this, what you just read. Can you explain to me? What happened when somebody uh, tells you, Oh, Nata, um, come here. I have very cool Legos in my house. But first, let's... Um, Let's do something. Um, first, let's do something. And then your friend goes and bow down to his God. And he tells you to bow down to, to, his, to his little God. To what will the, you do? To the Legos? To, no, to any other God. What will you do? I will say no. You sure? I will never worship God. I only worship the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And what happens if he tells you that he's going to give you a cool Lego if you do that? Uh, I will not make him worship gods. You will not worship gods. What if somebody tells you? Um, he tells you, oh, Nata, you know what? I had a cool dream about you. I dreamt that, um, that we were going uh, to this park. And you came with me. And we were having so much fun 
but your mom and dad did not know. Where were you? But I told you that everything was going to be okay. What would you do? I would say no. Mm-hmm. That's not true. Uh-huh. That's not a true thing. Okay, so when somebody tells you, let's, fight God, let's follow God of others that you did not know, and we shall worship them. Do not hearken to the words of the prophet or that dreamer of a dream. So what is, what is the word hearken? Do you remember the word hearken? What does it mean? The word hearken. What does uh, it mean? The guy comes to your heart. Mm, no, that you don't hearken. You don't pay attention to what they said. You don't hit their words in your heart. Okay? So 